So going into Daytona, I felt pretty good about it, honestly. I uh, thought we had a good car, I thought we had a good pace. We both went up on the wall about 150 in NASCAR 4. It's, it's horrible, you feel bad, and you feel like it's your fault. It just kind of sucks for the entire team because everyone's coming out here, put so much effort, so much work and drive, and put so much time and attention and money into the entire effort, and then for it all just to go away, it sucks, honestly. It's horrible. Unfortunate, but you know, it's just kind of how it goes. Um, you win some, you lose some. So round two here at Sebring, at MSA Continental Tire. So, um, yeah, don't know how this is gonna go. Daytona was, was a tough race for us. You know, we uh, chased our setup the whole weekend and we're making changes right up into the race and even through the race we were you know, adjust the tire pressures more than we normally would. You know, not a bad showing, but definitely not what we expect of ourselves. So, uh, you know, hoping this weekend to get the setup on the car faster and, uh, and really put on a good show. My fascination has always been with speed, and I thrive off of competition. If I see somebody go out and do something, I need to do it better. we're underpowered. So we have to get the setup 100% right because we can't rely on horsepower to win the race because it's not gonna happen. We know, uh, you know, straight line speed, we're not the fastest cars here, for sure. So that makes the setup that much more important. You have to be smart, right? You have to defend more. So it, it's a lot more on the drivers to defend your line, know where you're fast and where you need to defend because there are faster cars that will overtake you, and so you have to really be smart about your defensive game. This kind of a track would probably be the best kind of track for us. Honestly, just anything with twisty bits. A car likes to be thrown around whenever the car is on the edge of being thrown around, and then uh, it tends to go faster. You know, this is this track's notorious for people wrecking. So there's you know, the fuel strategy with the pit stops. Uh, we can't do it on one stop if the race stays green the whole time. So if it's a green race, flag to flag, we're going to have to do pit, two pit stops. I don't see that happening. So what I'm expecting is we're going to see some caution and it's going to be really, really tight. But we'll probably gamble and uh, try to do it on one fuel stop. I'm just going to send it. Just going to send it. Look, I'm going to send it. I'm gonna send it.
Dean just to give me the second place cars last night so I can sort of manage it. And it worked out well. Uh, the Ford Mustang was great today. Big hats off to, to Nate Stacy, my teammate. He moved up from 13th to 6th, and that uh, made my life easier. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. Good job. Once again, congratulations to our winners, Nate Stacy and Kyle Marcelli here in Sebring as they capture round two in Grand Sport.